Uh, well, that was a fun one today. Uh, it's always nice to be on the positive end uh, in the win column. But honestly, it's been a, a weird stretch for us because we didn't play last weekend due to weather. And Wednesday night, we got back really late from Fresno after midnight and quick turnaround and you're preparing for another series. And, you know, we just wanted to have general excitement in our dugout that we were playing baseball back home. So I thought we had that. Um, it was fun to be back out there and it was really exciting to get the boys rolling again at home. What are your thoughts on Shu's outing um, and settling in after a tough, you know, couple innings there? Yeah, Shu is always, command is his thing. He throws a million strikes. He's always ahead of the count. So it was a little weird today for him. Um, he only ended up with one walk, but he was behind a lot of guys, you know, 1 0, 2 1, 3 1. So that could lead to some issues. But he's so talented, so good, such a fighter that he gets through those innings uh, in the early stages, and he was able to stretch it all the way to a six inning performance. So um, he gave us a chance, as he always does. He uh, basically steadied the tide for us, and then obviously Lombard behind him was nailed. So another well pitched game, which we've been doing since the start of the season. Yeah, uh, Campania and Keegan had some back-to-back -back homers. Uh, you know, it's kind of light up the spark there for you guys. But how big of was that on offense for them? Ah, huge. I mean, they, they put two on us and we're down. And we always talk about answering back and trying to score first. So it's a bit of a hit to you when you don't score first. Uh, but I've been telling our guys going into this series that we just got to keep grinding it out. We got to make it be a 27 innings. If we're down five, up five, we just got to keep playing. And to get an immediate response like that was huge. I mean, it was uh, TJ hit a double and a good at bat before Mike's homer. And then that was an absolute, he crushed that ball. And then for Pat to follow it up with two strikes, I believe um, that was the response we needed to get back and show him, all right, it's going to be a fight here all day. What's it like having someone like Mario, who, you know, has the ability to play multiple positions and also deliver as a hitter in the middle of the lineup? Yeah, Mario is extremely valuable, uh, both sides of the ball. He can play second. He could play short. He plays third. He's plays second and third for us pretty consistently now. Uh, he's just a steady individual. He's never too high, never too low. Um, see him in the pregame, he's just kind of staring into the field, and you're wondering, is he is he intense? Is he into it? What's going on? But you can count on Mario. Um, I mean, he had that one ball that he could have got to late in the game that he booted, but team picked each other up, and obviously a huge double that made it from a 5-3 game to a 7-3 game was uh, monstrous for us to kind of stretch the lead. Yeah. So you got Jesse going on the second start, and, you know, trying to take the lead in the series. Yeah, Jesse, uh, we, we feel confident when Jesse's going. He pounds the zone, strikes, same thing as Shu. He's usually ahead of hitters. Uh, but, you know, we're, we've been pitching pretty well top to bottom, so we're excited about the next game. We don't talk in terms of series. We just have a game tomorrow, and that's the one we have to win. So we're, we're excited. I know the team's always excited when Jesse's on the mound to play behind him.